Hello guys, this is Krishna Adhya and in last session we learned how to perform the operations like insert, update, delete and select and PHP MyAdmin. Now in this session let's start how to connect PHP and database both. For that we will design a form that accepts the employee first name and last name on submit button insert the data into the database. So now let's start our work. So our first task is to create a basic HTML form. Now create the basic HTML form, give the title as employee registration. Now design the form. So in first row, assign the label as first name and take input type text and give the name f name in another row give the label last name and input type as text and name as l name now take the third row that will be our last row and take the input type submit for the submit button So over here our basic form has been created. Now after the click on submit the control will be transferred to the next file that is .php file and that is forms.php. So give the action as forms.php and method is equal to post we will pass the data of the form with the post method so create a php page with the name forms.php take the php tags and we will store the value of first text box into the variable f name and second text box into the variable l name so use the f name and with the help of post method transfer the value of f name into the variable f name do same for the last name so our basic task of creating a form and taking the value of the text box into the variable has been completed so our next task is to create a database and table where we can store our data. So for that use PHP MyAdmin. Let's create a new database name as practice. And then create a table name employee. I need three columns in my table that is employee ID, employee first name and employee last name. Now create the basic structure of the table employee so our first column will be employee id then employee f name and then employee l name first name and last name will be in string so give the data type as worker and give the appropriate size i want employee id as auto increment now save the structure so the table named employee is now created that is empty table because no data is inserted in the table now our final task is to connect the database and php both so for that we have to use 
the php file and in that we will use an inbuilt function that is mysqli underscore connect take a variable for connection that is con mysqli underscore connect this function contains four parameters first is the host name that is localhost then the username and password to access php my admin my username is root and password is blank and the fourth parameter is the name of the database that is practice now use the die function over here and type the error message unable to connect to database please check connection parameters so what the die function will do if any error will be generated during the connection with the database then further code will not be executed the code will be died there now our next task is to assign a query of insert so for that use the variable dollar query and insert into table name that is employee then assign the column names of our table that is employee id employee f name and employee l name then a keyword values and then assign our values the first column that is employee id is auto incremented so assign the value 0 it will auto incremented when a new data will be inserted now the first name the first name of the employee will be stored in our variable that is f name and f name contains the string value so assign the variable name between single inverted commas and same for the variable l name that will store the last name of our employee now the next thing is to fire the query for that use the inbuilt function mysqli underscore query and the mysql underscore query will contain two parameters our connection that we have stored in con variable and our query that is stored in dollar query variable or die unable to implement Query. So now if the connection and query all will be successfully completed then the result will contain 1 else it will contain 0. So now check the result if result equal equal to 1 then print the message data successfully inserted else data is not inserted so now we have completed our task now let's try it So type the first name ABC and the last name is XYZ and now submit yes data is successfully inserted. Now let's check that whether the data is inserted or not. Yes see the data is inserted and employee ID is 1. Now let's try to insert the second data. So 
the first name of our second employee is T U Y and the last name is U I Y. Yes, the data is submitted. Now reload it. The employee ID is auto incremented. The first name is T U Y and last name is U I Y. The first name and last name both are the same that we have entered in our form. So by this way you can connect the PHP and database both. So thank you for watching my video. If you like it then please subscribe my channel.